Good morning, everyone. Virgo Triad here. Happy September 12th. I hope everyone is doing well today. This is just going to be a short video. This was not the original video I had planned to put up first today. However, I wanted to get this out of the way because it's fairly simplistic and quick to do. There are some new pieces of information that the TDA gurus have put out that um, are providing what they're calling proof of the Treasury Direct accounts that are secret accounts that the federal government or the Federal Reserve Banks are supposedly holding. I wanted to make sure that this was addressed because the information is absolutely 100% inaccurate. And I'm going to go ahead and use a guide that is directly from the government in order for you to be able to witness what each field holds and also let you know what the claims are that are being made that provide proof. And hopefully uh, it will not trip anyone up when you run across these new videos. So we're going to start taking a look at this United States Treasury tax return check that you will see if you get a paper return versus a direct deposit when you file your taxes. And there are several other reasons you would receive the United States Treasury checks. Another reason would be if you have a child with someone who's paying child support through the Attorney General's office. Um, quite often you will see these checks that are issued out in order to uh, maintain that they are coming directly from the um, government. What the routing numbers are and what the uh, accounts that they are held in would differ just based on the reasoning behind the refund or the payment itself. So without further ado, what we're going to do is take a look at what each one of these fields mean and what the claim is and what reality is in terms of what these actual checks tell us. Okay, just so that everyone knows, this check is uh, has been researched. Uh, it is public domain, so this doesn't actually belong to a real person. This is simply a copy, an exact replica of what a tax return check looks like. You can locate this to view it yourself on photosearch.com, or you can search for it on Google, and you will find it within the images under United States Treasury tax refund checks. Second piece of information that we're going to take a look at to cross-reference the information that's being provided is off of the uh, acf.hhs.gov site. It is how to identify treasury checks, and this will be listed within the um, notes as to where you can find both of these links. As you can see, it's going to tell us how to read the treasury check and what each identifying piece of information means. And it corresponds as you go down the page to tell us what each number corresponds with. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the first claim that's being made with regards to proving that you have an account according to the gurus that is being pulled from or available through the Federal Reserve Bank. Now please understand, these are United States Treasury checks. This has to do with the IRS, has nothing to do with the Federal Reserve Bank, which by the way, happens to be a automatic clearing house. It is only for bank to bank wiring. It is absolutely nothing to do with uh, the United States Treasury Department in terms of looking at a Treasury check. You will notice at the bottom that there is what would normally be a routing number and it is not a, there is not a routing number there because this is something that is private based upon the location of the IRS. Now if you go on to Google and you take a look at all of the other images that are on Google that other people that have actual tax return checks have taken photos and listed them on public domain, you will see a routing number here for the purpose of not getting any copyright strikes or anything like that, I'm not using those images. However, you can find them. If you attempt to look that routing number up, you're going to see that it does not lead to a Federal Reserve Bank. It is actually a separate account. 
and it is one that is used for the purpose of what refunds are sent out through the United States Treasury for IRS tax refunds in this case. Then over here you have the uh, account number that it is pulled from. And let's just go ahead and take a look at uh, to ensure that what I'm telling you is accurate. Okay, so we're going to go down here to letter C. And letter C is telling us that it is the routing number unique to the U.S. Treasury checks, as I explained. Okay, and then we're going to take a look at D. D is the check serial number, which is normal for what you'd find on a check. Then you would look at E. E is the check digit. Look at F. F is the federal agency code. And we're going to look at G. G is the issue date. And H is the amount that is paid. Now, you should be able to understand from looking at this that the account numbers that are on the United States Treasury checks do not correspond to a actual direct account as your checking account would. It's very, very specific how they handle their accounts because the Treasury has their own system. All right, it does not work within the Federal Reserve banking system. All right, so we're going to go back over to the check now. And having said all of that, here are the claims that are being made. By the way, nothing that I've just explained to you about the routing or the account number uh, is, is being disputed at all, So just so that you understand. But I do want you to understand that these do not work through the Federal Reserve Bank. Here we go. First claim being made, that this is actually, this number over here, is actually the Social Security number. Now the interesting thing about that is that they're claiming that there's always a zero at the end of the final digit. And the reason that they're claiming that is because if you look at it, you will see that there are only eight digits here. And obviously your social security number is nine. Not everybody has a zero at the end of their social security number. As a matter of fact, mine does not. So therefore that does not hold water. It is quite simply the check number, but not just a regular check number. Let's take a look at this whole number all together over here on our guide and see what it actually is. Here we are on our guide and we're going to start with number five. Number five is the check symbol. Number six. Number six is the check serial number. Number seven is the issue amount. So you can see through looking at this that we are dealing with an actual check number and a serial number that is used because of the security features that are on the US Treasury checks. The next and final claim that is being made that shows that this is proof of an account existing unfortunately has already been debunked because the social security number is not within the check number at all. However, this number right up here, the number that starts with, it's an alphanumeric, starts with an S, an A, a P, and then you have digits, sometimes two sets of digits, sometimes three sets of digits, and they are set aside as what is considered SICK codes. They're really called FRN numbers. And the person that is perpetuating this statement of proof is claiming that whatever it is that is here, whether it be six digits or nine digits, that that is the value of you. This is absolutely 100% unequivocally not true. Let me go in and actually show you what it is that these numbers are. We're over here at the Bureau of Physical Service page, and what this is is part of the Treasury Department that cross-references debt collection for legal authorities 
And what this means is that there is a process that you batch through before your check is released to you. The numbers that are on the check are numbers that acquisition those checks. What that means is you are in a database and your name is either clear of the cross-referencing platform or you owe. Now, when you owe, and it is something that the Bureau of Physical Service gets involved with, it is either a debt that you owe to the government, like a student loan that you have not reconciled in some manner through forbearance or some manner, child support that has been issued through an attorney general's office in one of the 50 states, a state tax lien that has not been covered for one reason or another by you, a debt that is owed to a government entity for fines and fees that have to do with criminal or civil action that have to do with government only in that case. There are also certain cases where certain types of actual debt collection can put a restriction, especially if they've been awarded a judgment that allows them to garnish 15% or more of your wages. So, it's a good thing to take a look at what the Bureau of Physical Service actually does. This is the reason behind a, cred a secured party creditor putting a claim through a UCC1 form out there so that when they go to write off a debt, it is placed in the physical service area so that it can be cross-referenced by the IRS and they get approval for it. I will go into more detail about that later, but for right now, I want for you to understand that this that's up here are the codes and the, and the um, database that is searched for in order to provide approval to let that check release. Whether it's a direct deposit into your account or whether it is a paper check that is mailed to you, no tax refund is released without going through the Physical Securities Department of the Treasury. All right? So if there are questions, please put them in the comments and I will address, address them during the question and answer session for the week. Generally, I will do this on Fridays. Please stay tuned for more uh, videos popping up today. I'm going to be doing the next one on what the meaning of the front and back numbers of the Social Security card are, why it says account information on it, and a great deal of other pieces of information that are being misrepresented out there. I will put in the link all of the ways that you can locate everything I've looked at here uh, so that you can click on those links and look for yourself. If you are unsure about my uh, capability of expressing this to you, you're welcome to call the United States Treasury Department or the Physical Treasury Department yourself so that you can verify all of this information. I hope this helps you better understand why this is not proof of an account. Uh, this simply is a refund check with a regular check number that happens to be long because there's a lot of people that get refund checks and a cross-referencing platform that allowed them to approve the check to it actually be released. Um, you guys have a great day. I will be talking to you soon. Thanks a lot for watching.